Hello, my awesome Scorpio. Scorpios, I missed you guys. Happy weekend to you, Scorpio. It's Saturday evening where I am. I hope you're having a great weekend. And if you have to work, I hope you find some leisure time for yourself, Scorpio. Scorpio, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Scorpio, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video. Whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally what's on their mind what they thinking feeling at this time especially in relation to you so whenever we look on the bottom of the deck it's for reasons so uh, this is what's happening right now this is you you ended your relationship with your soulmate and you're very heartbroken about it but you feel it's the right decision for you to make that you had no choice but to let them go it it hurt you deeply to do it yeah but you feel you needed to do it and now you're trying to heal from this heartbreak for some reason this soulmate of yours didn't meet you halfway didn't reciprocate didn't offer you a relationship that you were hoping to have yeah this is you silent right now even though there's a part of you that still wants to communicate with your person uh because you feel so heartbroken, you feel so torn emotionally because it's the end. You see, you ended this, you decided it was the best thing to do. You remain silent though, even though you feel like there's something else you need to communicate about, to resolve, to clear up between you two, but you're silent right now, trying to heal from this heartbreak that you're feeling. I'm so sorry you're going through so much, Scorpio. This is tough. This is going to be extra card, very important. Yeah, look at this. It didn't make you happy to let this person go. This is three of cups reversed. Now, three of cups right side up it happens to be my favorite cup card, but it's reversed. This is you very sad. This is you mourning uh, this breakup. Yeah, I'm so sorry. This is This is sad for me to see anybody to go through this. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Scorpio in their life and how is Scorpio currently doing on their soulmate journey. <sighs> My goodness. Yeah, you see, this was a serious relationship for you. You were hoping this would end up being a lifetime commitment and you feel you had to let go, like you couldn't handle it anymore. You are silent right now. You are so deeply heartbroken. You don't want to talk to anyone about how you feel inside. You, you don't want to express to even your close friends and relatives how deeply heartbroken, emotionally devastated you feel over this breakup or loss. This is you wanting to heal on your own, wanting to retreat from everybody. Oh my goodness, this person's spying on you. So they're checking up on you quite regularly. Um, they want to communicate with you. They want to break the silence. They're surrounded by birds. So there's a lot that they want to express to you, get off their chest. They're checking up on you through videos like this, personal reading, social media, if you have any. Yeah, they are checking up on you. Oh my goodness, you kind of hoping that this person will take action and show you some kind of uh, interest in trying to resolve this. It looks like because they're showing up as a page and page of swords, especially with the sword uh, pointing sideways, it looks like this person has not met you halfway when the two of you were uh, in each other's lives. They didn't communicate, didn't uh, listen to what you had to express, didn't express emotions, didn't tell you where you stand in their life, how they feel. <sighs> this is tough. You're missing them. Yeah, of course. There's a part of you that's missing this person a lot. You feel sad. You feel abandoned, misunderstood. Oh, my goodness. Um, hmm. You've been going through a lot of emotional 
roller coasters in this relationship. You were going back and forth whether this is the right decision for you or not. So this shows that the two of you broke up uh, at least several times and you gave this person numerous chances to come forth and prove themselves to you that yes, they are wanting to uh, work with you on this connection. Ooh, this person is devastated over losing you, but they scared that this is the end, that you're not gonna let them back in. They're looking at your cup, which is broken, uh, which means this person thinks you no longer love them, that you are done with them. That's their fear, that you are done. But Five of Cups showing over here, uh, right above their energy, shows me that this person is aware that they are the reason why you had to let them go, that they didn't do something that they should have done. Uh, they feel at fault. Yeah, they feel they uh, made a big mistake. Hmm. There are some people in your life that don't approve of this person. And they are aware of it. It's like they either suspect or know for a fact that there are some people in your life that are protective of you that don't approve of this person. View them as very immature, irresponsible. Uh, yeah, this person is aware though. They are aware, either sense it or know it for a fact, uh, that if they try to come back to your life, uh, that they're going to have some explaining to do, not just in front of you, but the people that are protective of you, whether it's your friends or family members. There are definitely people in your life that don't approve of your soulmate and uh, don't approve of this relationship going any uh, further. Mm. Let's see. Universe, please show us. What's coming up for Scorpio in their life? And how is Scorpio currently doing on their summit journey? This is tough. Yeah, you see, you're not taking any actions right now. You want to see if this person is going to take some kind of uh, initiative to uh, come forward. Uh-huh. So again, for the second time, they're showing up as Page of Swords, spying on you. This person is waiting to see if you're going to... Uh, cool off and reach out to them first. But honestly, they need to be the ones initiating this communication. The ball is in the court. Ooh. This person's in love with you. Yeah. So I think they realized that after they lost you this final time, they quiet, silent. This is them hiding how truly they love you deeply. You see, um, as far as their communication patterns are concerned with you and their behavior. They're showing up as um, inadequate, meaning they're not uh, following through with their actions. They, not, they, they may give you uh, cheap talk, empty promises, and they won't follow through with consistent actions. They're not reliable. They're not grounded. They're not consistent. But as far as their feelings are concerned for you. This person genuinely, truly loves you deeply. They just, for some reason, are hiding it, not expressing it. This person feels um, scared of such deep, intense emotions that they feel for you because they can't control those emotions. In was please show us, wow, they took over your reading, basically. In was please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Scorpio. And how is the soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time? Oh my goodness, let's see what's going on. Yeah, I see, this is them. Uh, very introspective, reflective. They're trying to reflect, make sense of what happened. This person wants to come back towards you with emotional offer, emotional gesture. Oh, yeah. So for the second time, this time from the bigger tarot deck, it shows very clearly that this person uh, faults themselves for losing you. So they realize that they've made some serious mistake and that's why you let them go. So it's good to know that they are aware of it. So hopefully they'll fix it, correct it. Uh, they're being honest with themselves. Yeah. They scared though, again, that you let them go for good. Emotionally, you release them and no longer love them. Ooh, this is how they view you, holding empress energy, whether you're male or female. This person 
uh, has a lot of respect for you. They view you as very mature, uh, grounded, considerate, uh, living your life with integrity. Someone who is a catch. They keep showing up as page of swords, which concerns me. And you are showing up as empress, very mature, stable, grounded energy. Your energies don't match. Yeah. So they would have to significantly improve their energy towards you, uh, show you that, yes, they are going to put work into this if they want you back. Oh, they're missing you like crazy. they missing you more than you could realize. This is them feeling empty without you, alone, sad, like their life has no meaning. They are depressed, heartbroken. Ooh, you told them off. You told them goodbye. You told them exactly what time it is. They're scared of your judgment. They're scared of your rejection. They're scared of you telling them off, but they know you are honest and they respect you. They view you as very much guarded emotionally towards them, not trusting them. You tell them exactly, bluntly, uh, where you stand and what it is that you're not going to tolerate. They, they got the message. Yeah. They didn't see what they were doing wrong before, but after you were very honest, direct, open with them in your thorough communication, they agree with you even though they may not admit it to you directly they agree with you they see your point yeah they do they're scared of your judgment they're scared of your rejection universe please show us what's uh, going on currently with the summit of scorpio and how is the summit of scorpio towards scorpio this time i feel like i need to shuffle more universe please show us What's going on currently with the summit of Scorpio? And how is the summit of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time? A lot of you are dealing with Taurus. This stands for Taurus. Also Virgo showing up here. Um, and Libra. Hmm. You see, they want to break the silence. They want to clear the air between the two of you. They want to end the silence. This is them trying to be brave enough, courageous enough to approach you, even though they fear rejection by you. So this really concerns me even more now. For the third time, they're showing up as Page of Swords. And you are the opposite energy of that. You see? This worries me. You're showing up as very mature, grounded, reliable, consistent. And they are the opposite of that. You see, for the third time, they're showing up with that energy. They're holding on to you for dear life. They're not letting you go. When you add these pentacles, five and four, it becomes nine of pentacles, which shows very clearly that this person is very concerned that if they don't hurry up, somebody else is going to offer you a commitment because they view you as uh, a catch, as someone of great value in a relationship. So they know that if they view you this way, so do others. Yeah. This person spying on you, wanting to know if there's somebody else in your life, if there's somebody else showing interest in you or vice versa. You know, please show us what's going on currently with the summit of Scorpio. A lot of you are dealing with Cancerian, Libra. Ooh, you think they're enjoying the silence. They're not. This is them suffering in silence. This is them also looking back at all the mistakes they've made, which is a good thing. That's a good sign that they recognize the mistakes they've made. Hopefully, they'll be able to correct them, change them. Uh, yeah, you see, this is them absolutely devastated over losing you. They don't like this silence. They don't, li they don't like not hearing from you. This is them reminiscing of you, thinking of you, missing you day and night. Past life connection with this person. I'm scared to see what will show up here. Yeah, you see, they know that they need to act more responsibly. They need to be more accountable, more dependable, show emotions, tell you where you stand in their life, how they feeling. Yeah, you see, they want to approach you with some kind of emotional offer, emotional gesture. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, so they do recognize they didn't meet you halfway, didn't reciprocate. Yeah, this person's scared that if they wait too long, somebody else is going to offer you a serious relationship.
my goodness, this is a lot to go through for you. Yeah, you know what, please show, yeah, you, you showing up here, yes, as very heartbroken, uh, very much protecting your heart, but you're also showing up as having a lot of wisdom, great intuition. Yeah, you know what, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Scorpio and how's the soulmate of Scorpio towards Scorpio at this time? Yeah, you see, they want to know there's somebody else in your life. This is them daydreaming, trying to fantasize of a possible new beginning with you and how to approach you correctly. Uh-huh, now they want to put work into this. They didn't do it before for whatever reason, whether they couldn't or were scared to, but now this person wants to, they know they have to prove themselves to you. They can't just re-enter your life with uh, uh, words like, I missed you, Scorpio, let me back in. Yeah. Look how scared they are, fearful, scared. This person feels a lot of different emotions at the same time. Fear, sadness, regret, heartbreak, love. This person feels a lot of emotions mixed together and it scares them to feel such deep emotions that they can't control. Wow, you are the catalyst in the life. This is you bringing major changes to their life the way they, and it scares them to look at themselves and see all the mistakes that they've made that shape them and how they relate to others in relationships. You see, this person sees it clearly. They know that they can't just re-enter your life with empty words. They have to show you significant changes in their life or behavior for you to trust them again. Look, you see, look at this. This person sees very clearly uh, what they need to let go of. Uh, any toxic behaviors, toxic connections, toxic people, toxic situations, you see, they see very clearly. You open their eyes, you made them aware of what's wrong and not working out in their life. You see, you are their greatest teacher. You are the catalyst in their life that they needed. Yeah. Scorpio, we're going to go into your, uh, yeah, they in love. We're going to go into your extended reading and ask about the soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of. For your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmates entering your life new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so scorpio click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Love you guys.